Hi, I'm Kate McCartney. And I'm Kate McLennan. Chicks want to see us, dudes want to be us. Welcome to the catering show. I'm white. I'm also very white. You are. You are too white. You look like you've just crawled out of a television. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but this is a cooking show, sort of. And along with porn, cooking shows are a pillar of on-screen diversity. So having two bleached assholes is an on. I literally couldn't agree more. Why are we even here? With that in mind, we'd like to introduce a special guest. It's everyone's favourite full fee paying international student, the very successful and colourful comedian, hey guys. Ronnie Cheng. You actually jumped in a bit early then, Ronnie. Oh, am I supposed to be wearing an apron? No, I didn't get you one. They're very expensive. Oh, I'll buy my own. What's the website? No, you can't just buy one, money bags. The website's down. Why is it down? Oh, we couldn't pay the domain fee. Yeah, we couldn't afford it. We didn't have any money. Aren't you like 40? You have a baby. Yeah, but she sent off some invoices that were wrong and we couldn't afford to pay it. I don't know the difference between an ABN and a tax file number. Yeah, she doesn't. She's hopeless. mclennan has got a spare one. Do you want to wear that? No, he can't wear that one. It's got leaked boob milk on it. Oh, you're a leaked boob milk on it. You just like wear a tea towel or something. Just wear that if you want to wear something. But don't use it though, it's water resistant. Yeah. yeah it's good. Looks good. Suit you. Because Ronnie is our special guest, I'm going to make a delicious Vietnamese bun mi. But I'm going to take this traditional dish and put a Katie Mac spin on it and make it better. You do know I'm Chinese Malaysian, not Vietnamese, right? So today we're going to be making a Chinese Malaysian inspired traditional Vietnamese bun mi using these beautiful fluffy baguettes. Shouldn't it be format friendly for McCartney? Oh. So today we're making a FODMAP friendly Chinese Malaysian inspired traditional Vietnamese bun mi using these frozen gluten free rolls. And I'm also going to be making a spicy Malaysian sambal just to give this bun mi a bit of a kick. Are you? Sambal is a sauce made from red chilli pepper, shrimp paste, garlic, ginger Thanks, and... Thanks Ronnie, but I think I know what sambal is. I've been to Bali seven times, actually put a girl through school there. Hello Sri, up kamba. <laughs> sambal, pronounced sambal, is a great accompaniment to asian -y food. That's right. So I'm going to be making a very spicy sambal and McCartney, you're going to be making your own format friendly sambal. No, oh, no, 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 I can't she call can't. I don't know how to do that. No, 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 there are no cans or don'ts in this kitchen today. What ingredients would you like to use? Oh, OK, um, maybe the green one? Ah, coriander. That's coriander. That's a great choice. You can chop it. OK. OK, so I'm going to start prepping these buns. Now, these are gluten-free buns or, like, bread turds. OK, so I'm just prepping my rolls. I let in some of this and a little bit of and some of this. I have a deep connection with the Vietnamese people because my father was actually a Vietnam veteran. And I retraced his steps recently through the jungle for an entire five hours before I went to this amazing cooking school that was run by this kind, wise old little Canadian lady called Patricia. And that's where I picked up this fun little trick of adding scrambled egg into the bun mi. Because, you know, once you've had a few bun mi's, they can get a little boring, a little done me. <laughs> OK, I've finished my sambal. Oh, great. Just in time to add to my bun me. Oh, uh, I wouldn't add too much, Deborah Clendon. You might find it. Too hot to handle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's that's actually a double standard. That's that's actually reverse racism, guys. I have you know I'm actually quite good with chili, Ronnie, actually. Before we eat our bun mi, why don't we hear what McCartney has to say in my favourite segment, The Catering Show Booze Reviews. Today, Today we're, we're going <laughs> to... Sorry. Do you want to do it? No, no, it's your thing. And you're very good at it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Today we're reviewing Ronnie's favourite drink, bubble tea. Oh, hey, this doesn't have any alcohol in it. Is that OK? Oh, it's totally fine. I don't even really drink. Anyway, bubble tea is a drink that's made from tea and magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, silly. You are, but it's true. It does taste like magic. And I love magic. I love magic too. No, you don't. 
Mm. Oh, that's delicious. What rating would you give it? I give it five Ronnie Chings out of five. Oh, OK, that's very sweet of you. Just like this bubble tea. <laughs> Do you want to see some photos of some lizards? Yep. OK. Great job, mate. Can I try some? There's none left. Right. Would you like to join me for our bun me? Chop, chop. Thanks for joining us, Ronnie. It's been really great. OK, now it's time to try our FODMAP-friendly, Chinese-Malaysian-inspired, traditional Vietnamese bun me with a little Katie Mac twist. Oh, yuck. Yuck. Oh, this tastes like shit. The flavour balance is all wrong. Yeah, because I've been working with your inferior ingredients. No, this bun is inauthentic. It was a bad choice from the start. Oh. Which is why I'm going to cook something straight from my heart. My mother's own Malaysian laksa. Let's do this. Laksa blends classic Chinese ingredients with Malaysian cooking to create a melting pot of flavor, much like the spicy city that I call home. We put shrimp paste, stock, coconut cream, fish sauce, and prawns. They all go into the wok. We put the noodles in the bowl, and then our delicious broth is ladled over the top. Then we garnish with bean sprouts, coriander, chili, and fried shallots. Except for our format version, because not everyone has guts of steel. Squeeze of fresh lime, and we're done. OK, guys, my traditional Malaysian laksa. As we say in Malaysia, Selamat makan, Mat Saleh. And to my Chinese-speaking fans, Bailen, Qing Man Yong. I'm trilingual. Wow. Let's give it a try. OK. Mmm. Mmm. Fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are? Mm. It's the lime. It's everything. What are you doing? I'm buying some Ronnie Cheng merchandise. You know what, getting a third person involved was a big mistake. What we have is really special. We need to protect that going into the third series. Oh my God, wow, the Food Network in the US has given Ronnie his own cooking show. Oh, good on him. That's fantastic. Oh, it's so easy to be successful, isn't it, if you're a man with a law degree? Yeah, he works hard and he's talented and has a good head for business. Exactly, it's bullshit. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Oh, some fuck stack's taken our domain name. How am I going to shift all those tea towels in the boot of my car now? Well, can't people just email? Mate, I've already told you this. I can't get into the email because I can't remember the login details. Fuck this. Oh, look, Ronnie's selling his own aprons too. Uh...